Hi, are you someone who struggles with studying? Is this how you make notes? Does it feel like you're reading the test again for the first time when you go in for a revision? Do you forget everything by the next day, sometimes the next hour? Don't worry, we've all been there. Hi, I'm a neurosurgeon, fitness and productivity enthusiast, and most importantly, a lifelong student. And today, I just wanted to share with you a way to improve your note-taking skills. Now, let's get one thing out of the way. There's no obviously right or wrong way to read a chapter and make notes. Ultimately, whatever works for you is best. But there are some methods which are better than others. First of all, do you even need to make notes? Well, yes. Your brain isn't exactly designed to store information. It's not a computer. With whatever you read, there's a chance that 50% or more of it doesn't even register in your short-term memory. And maybe only a few sentences actually make enough of an impact to get stuck in your long-term memory. Notes are useful that way for multiple reasons. If used correctly, the act of making notes can enhance your understanding of the subject and help retain the topic for longer. Also, they're incredibly useful for later revisions and are much easier to go through right before the exam compared to rereading the text. Then why isn't everyone making notes? Well, first, it does take some time and effort. And second, a lot of students don't really see an advantage because they think simply reading the text it may be, just might be enough. Science has convincingly shown that the more difficult learning is, the better it sticks. And simply rereading a chapter is more or less a futile exercise for long-term retention. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're someone just trying to quickly read a topic to pass an exam and forget everything you've read, then there's nothing wrong with using whatever technique you want. This video is primarily directed towards students who wish to remember what they're reading for as long as possible. So, let's get into it. I'll explain what I think is the best method for reading a chapter and then making notes for long-term retention. I'll obviously be using a medical chapter as an example, but the same ideas can apply to any text. Academic reading isn't like reading a novel. So simply jumping into the chapter and reading it from the beginning to the end doesn't really do the trick. When you start reading a chapter, I assume that you might know the tiniest bit of information about it already, maybe from a class you attended or just from the knowledge you've acquired at college or workplace. If you do, just flip through the pages of the chapter and pick up on the broad headings of what you'll be reading. If you don't know anything about the topic, I suggest finding a short video about it on YouTube first, going through it at maybe 1.5 times the speed, and then proceeding with the chapter. This seems like it might take longer, but it will definitely make reading the chapter faster and will allow you to understand the topic better. Some texts usually have key points at the beginning of a chapter try to make it a point to go through these. They're the biggest highlights of the chapter and it's information you really want to remember. Once you start reading, stop after every paragraph and try a technique known as elaboration. Don't look at the text and try to explain to yourself what you read in your own language. Even better, if you could try explaining it to an imaginary child, that will work much better. This really helps to figure out if you've actually understood the concept. Once you have done that, you'll sort of understand what that particular piece of text is trying to tell you. Following this, you can note that down. If you're someone who likes to annotate within the text, I suggest highlighting or underlining only a maximum of two to three keywords, which will help you recall what that piece of text is trying to tell you. If you have done your elaboration well, it should be really easy to figure out what are these keywords. If you're someone who has a tendency to underline whole sentences, I suggest actively avoiding doing that. The point is to easily pick up on the few words in case you're revising the topic just before the exam. If you can't stop underlining the entire text though, please go ahead and do that, but maybe highlight the keyword with a different color. This will help it stand out on your visual memory, making it easier to recall. If you're someone who likes to make notes instead, whether handwritten or typed, you can do this. Instead of more or less copying the text, try to frame the information as a question you can use to test yourself. 
like instead of just writing the information down like instead of just writing down the average survival of a patient with glioblastoma is 9 to 15 months and this depends on id mutation status mgmt promoter methylation status kps extent of resection etc you can put down two questions such as what is the average survival of a gbm patient with the answer off to the side such that you can hide it to test yourself and then another question like what factors does it depend on now you can go through the entire chapter circle back and then make notes while reading through it again or you could do that section wise or paragraph wise it really depends on your ability to retain information me i don't really retain information long enough to read an entire chapter and then try to annotate it i find it more comfortable to do it every paragraph or every couple of paragraphs wherever i feel like they're trying to make important points once you've gone through the entire chapter just keep your book and notes aside and then try to ask yourself at least five to ten questions about what you think are some of the most important concepts from what you've just read. Note down these questions separately and try to answer them the next day without going through the text again. This tests active recall. And trust me, whatever you're not able to answer from these questions is going to get stuck in your head for a ridiculously long time. If you want to improve upon that, you can try to answer these questions again after a week or a month to improve long-term retention better. Well, that's all for today, folks. There will be more studying tips coming soon.